shot before you got it or you got it after the shot? No, no, no. I got it when I got like I came home Saturday because I, you know, I told my family, I said, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, get it because they got it. I got the shot Saturday. And I started feeling like weird Monday. You know, I, you know, they, they said that you're going to feel some side effects, whatever, whatever. Which one did you get? I got the Moderma. So that Tuesday, Wednesday, I started feeling like bad. Thursday, I was, thir- Thursday, I was messed up. And then Friday, when I came home, I, I, I had to go to the hospital. Really? So I went to the, I went to the hospital. Um, you know, they, they did a little bit of stuff and sent me back home, told me, you know, the quarantine or whatever, whatever. But when I got back home, I, I still, you know, I, I, I wasn't in good shape, man. You were dying. Pretty much. <laughs> right. No, I get it. No, I understand. At least that's what I thought I was going through. So I, I told my son to take me back to the hospital. And uh, and yeah, right. You know, right then and there, they did the emergency COVID. Uh, what do you call it? Test. Uh, came back and said that I had no, I had pneumonia due to due to COVID. And they, you know, they 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 checked me right into the hospital. So I've been in the hospital for maybe about three, three and a half weeks. And then I was, you know, after they discharged me, they discharged me with oxygen and. All this, uh, all this crazy stuff, and then after that, they um, they they gave me uh, they gave me a few other things, and then I was at home for maybe about another two two and a half weeks before I actually went back to work. Wow, well, prayers for you, man, and I'm glad everything's working. You know, at least you're getting back and healthy and stuff, and you know, prayers for you and you know, protection from the good Lord, that's for sure. Oh, no. But then I got some. But I got some good news for you. Okay. Okay. What's up? What's up? There's three or four people have come through our setup looking, you know, because of you. So I want to thank you for that. You definitely, your word out there is getting out. A um, couple of them didn't qualify, but I did get one that did qualify and he jumped in a truck. So once he's been here, you know, a month or so, I'm going to send you some money. Oh, thank you. I told you. I told you. Anybody that comes from you, I'm going to make sure I take care of you. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. Because maybe we can maybe we can do another coffee talk one day. You know what I mean? No doubt. Might be able to do another one, but you know, I'm you know once again, I ain't paying for services. I'm paying for what you did. So that is definitely a great thing. But uh, it is a gentleman named uh, Kirsten Richardson. He's out of uh, North Carolina. Okay. And uh, and he was all about it. He said, "Man, I was watching this cat and checking some stuff out." He goes, "And I seen your mug come up there." He goes, "Yeah, let's hear what this propaganda is." He goes, "It took me about." He literally said, "He goes in about three minutes, man." He goes, "I couldn't stop watching you." He goes, "He goes, I'm just looking at you, going, this dude is the real deal. He is not bullshitting me. He ain't telling no lies." And then he went through all of orientation, did everything, and then they meet me at the end. Exactly. And he was like, everything you said, he said, is real. He goes, you haven't been anything different on that call and that podcast than you have are in this building. And he see me working with some other drivers. Well, you know, some existing drivers had some problems. They were in the right. building. And I was working with them. And he's, you know, on break, listening. And he's like, you are just on everything around here. And I said, that's what I do. Well, that's what's up, man. Steve, thank you very much. And I, and I'm, I'm glad that. Uh, I'm 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 glad that it works, you know, and, and that's what I want the people to, I want you know the new people, the veterans, anybody. I, I want them to know that what I'm doing out here, you know, it's it's not, you know, it's 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 getting the information out there to people that's interested in coming into whatever company they want to come to. Right. If you want to find out about a company and it's going through lockout men, well, then you know what? You, you're getting some information. You know, I'm not saying every person that talks to you is going to give them the straight shoot or not inflate or, you know, as a gentleman was in my office today, he's just, he goes, Steve, I've been in the oil fields for 10 years. He goes, I've only made two checks ever bigger than I've made now running in your lease program. He goes, this thing is insane. He goes, I cannot believe how much money I'm making. He goes, so he goes, what can I do to make more money? <laughs> that's what he you know what i mean he goes what can i do to make more and i'm like yeah no i set that bar so good you even want more so but he was like 
he goes, the only reason, Steve, he goes, I'm here, and he goes, half the people that I talk to every day, they know that you are truly the guy that is always going to be 51% on the fleet side. And take that ash tune from the owners, have that negotiation, have those deals. And I said, that's what makes us the truckers company. They got a trucker that negotiates for the truckers. Exactly. Exactly. And it, you know, it's not always fun because, you know, I was on the phone with the owner today and he didn't like some of my ideas, but then at the end of the day, we still have drivers. We hold on Peter. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on. Oh, uh, but yeah. And I just want to tell you though, you know, the referrals huge, the podcast is huge and you know, I'm glad you're feeling better. Definitely got, you know, love for you. And, um, Let's in the next couple of weeks hook up and uh, see what we can do. Not a problem, sir. Thank you very much. You, uh, you, uh, you, you still got my, my, my. Uh, I got your PayPal account. I got everything. I, a- I ain't calling to ask you where to send the money. I'm calling to tell you I'm gonna be sending you some money. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, sir. I really do appreciate it. it definitely- All right. Be safe out there, and we'll be chatting. And if you catch anybody on the road or you catch anything like that, like I said, I'm not looking for you to, you know, be a road recruiter. But if there's anything out there, you point in my way, and they put your name down because that's one of the first things we ask. How'd you hear about us? Because we want that information. And then they put him right there on my thing. Lockout men referral right on the paperwork, man. Exactly. It works. Thank you very yep. much, Steve. All right, have a great weekend. Be safe out there, and we'll just talk in the next couple of weeks. Will do. And you ever get through St. Louis? Do you ever come through St. Louis on any of your runs? You got uh, anything like that? You know what? i not sure. Well, I do have runs that do go through St. Louis on my way down to Texas, so. Well, shoot, if you ever get a time, man, I'm right in the middle of St. Louis, just right at the airport. I mean, we're five minutes from the airport. It would be huge if you could ever get a 15-minute side, you know, if you cut through for 15 minutes, man, run you to the building, let you see the place, get some pictures. It would be huge. I appreciate We'd love to have you. I appreciate the offer, man. Thank you. Okay. All right. Have a great day and be safe. All right. You too, sir. Thanks, bye.